hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel once again in this video i want to quickly show you how i was able to analyze boom 500 index and i i got an entry that gave me over um 200 hours in profit all right so how i did this was first of all i had to go to a higher time frame like i used to do if you've been watching my videos you know that i you've, you will really know that i i usually go to the higher time frame to start my analysis to the kind of a top-down analysis so i usually go to the weekly time frame or the daily time frame but this particular video i will want to go to the daily time frame the weekly time frame because i saw something there on the weekly time frame this is what i saw i looked at the current price and i noticed the price was just here i noticed this weeks here where the current price is i saw this weeks it market sold from this point you can see down market first bought to this place and started rejecting sold then bought to this place again this level again then sold down massively to the downside Re uh, pulled back then sold to the downside so i expected the market to also do something on getting to this particular level right now so i decided to put a horizontal line i decided to put a horizontal line because we use the past uh, reactions in the market to predict future um reactions to the market so i put a trend a horizontal line to mark it then i'll go to the, see the current market and see where it is okay that's where it is in the current market see the candlestick there then after marking out that i looked for another um key level here where uh, the next key level here on this particular time frame what all right so i had to duplicate this line then let's find a key level, an important level here in this market. This is another important level here on this time frame. And you can see the market bought and sold in this at this point. You, know, you can see market bought from here, sold from here, and also sold from here. Market bought, sold from here, sold from here. All right, so that is it on the weekly time frame. You understand? And if you come here, you will also see those areas we've marked. So I had to go down to the daily time frame to find another key level also to mark. And you know that the reason for marking these key levels is to know where the market would possibly reverse. Because that's the essence of the key level, to know where the market would want to change its direction. And since we uh, trading is a game of probabilities and, and we, need, we need to look for the possible... Um, the areas we would find poss a higher probability of the market doing what we want you know changing direction since that's what we are we are doing we predict the direction of the market so we look for areas where the market will easily hit uh, get to and decide to change direction and these are the key levels in the market so as you can see this line here is the daily time is daily time frame um i'm just going to delete that daily time frame key level i want to change this color as usual let me use blue right there that's daily time frame key level and if we come here to the current side of the market this is where it is this is where it is but let me just still continue looking for areas to if we we'll still need another key level i think there should be a key level somewhere here there's a key level somewhere around here which i believe if we zoom in we'll see it more clearly let me see is it this high let me zoom in a little bit all right so the market actually let me see bought from here also bought and sold around here so this is a key level also in this market that's a key level too you can see the buys and the sales activity that happened around this same point on this time frame market bought here sold here market sold here bought here bought here and market also market also sold from this point all right, so that's a key level on the one early on the one day or the daily time frame, or I call it 24 hours time frame. All right, now um, our concern is you can see, like I used to tell you that the market, I like drawing trend lines or key levels. Sorry, key levels close to the current price. So like these ones are just marked down here, like this one with the pink color is is actually relevant at the moment. So because we are concerned about what's happening currently in the market. And looking for key levels that are close to the current price so in this case i have to go to the four hourly time frame because we want to find key levels that are close to the current price these daily time frame key levels are a bit far from the current price so i'll go to the uh, where we'll have market we'll have key levels 
close to the current price then this is the area we've been using to determine um where to mark out and uh, you can see a key level right here let me duplicate this line and take it up we'll find a level somewhere here where market has been selling market has been selling from this point market has been selling from this point so we'll call this our key level let me see what's in here will be better okay it's even better here at this point yeah all right so i'll change this color to something like uh, maybe let me use black i'll use black there you know market yeah that's a key level then um there should be another key level somewhere here let me zoom in a bit and see where i'll find it let me see if it's not gonna work i'll take it off this looks like a kind of a key level let me see let me zoom in actually it is a key level market button sold along that level all right so let's go to the current side of the market and in case you do not understand i have to go that far left so i can easily trace where these things happen because um we do not have enough activity here on the current side of the market so i had to go and you can see those lines we drew how they fit in properly here on the along the current side of the market you can see how they fit in properly all right so you can see that the market actually on the four time frame it really shows that the market on getting to the daily to the weekly time frame it broke to a little it broke to a little then gave this rejection it first rejected here then rejected again this is another rejection on the finally time frame so and it started selling so i actually expected um if i i'm still expecting the market to continue selling even though there will be little pullbacks but we want to see market in a bearish trend um for for a little while not too long it's not going to last for a very long time so i'll have to go down to the one early time frame so we can find the structure that's available on the chart although right here we can decide to join a trend line let me see we can decide to join a trend line like this we can decide to join a trend line like this then i can i don't like this color or maybe we can just manage it you know we can manage it then i will duplicate and put another one above let me see if it fits well let me see if it fits well all right guys you see what i'm telling you that is on the four early time frame that is on the four early time frame so now that the market has hit the four early uh, the trend line this particular trend line and rejected and also this is a daily this is the weekly uh, resistance zone with this confirmation we see the market to sell the target should be this particular trend line here the target should be this uh, supportive trend line right here so let's go to the daily time the um one other time frame because if you want to enter a trend on this early time frame your stop loss will be too large so i go to the one early time frame and on the one early time frame we can still find another structure within this particular um, trend lines here let me change this color it's trying to uh, kind of is somehow in my eye let me change it to this uh -huh. then i will have to put another trend line look at the market is giving us another trend right here you can see market has been buying after it hits this trend line it has been buying like this the upside so we want to see a breakout of this trend line like what has happened then the market should be targeting this level here so what we'll do now is to put the trend line there where is the trend line come on man i'll put this trend line right here you can see the trend line there let me change this color so we we'll see it very clearly let me use this color all right i hope the chart doesn't really look dirty to you 
if you understand what you what i am doing it's not dirty we are trying to get what we want you know as you can see now it shows that the market has just been buying has been buying just within this particular uh, column you know and mind the market came up here impulsively then started giving this movement that indicate the market is going to sell and um, very soon as so you can see the breakout that's already happening you know when i saw this thing i think i posted this setup in the my telegram channel and at that time the market did not break out yet the market did not break out so let's go to the 15 minutes time frame so on the 15 minutes time frame i noticed um this movement too i noticed this movement too market moved impulsively and started giving this corrective impulse at this point so what i had to do at this point was to join um these two trend lines here join these two swing points here to form um a trend line then i was waiting for a breakout and proper retest then i'll enter into the trade to sell so i this is when i got this the market was somewhere around where we have this first bullish candlestick here where we have the first bullish candlestick the market was so i posted on the telegram channel for anyone who was who saw it was to wait for a breakout and retest then the person will go in to make some sales because i was very confident the market is going to sell since it has already broken the weekly time gotten to the weekly time frame a resistance zone and with those confirmations that we had you know and now we can also confirm that the market also hit the four early time frames of a resistive trend line so which is this purple line right here or is it purple or blue line right here so we are expecting the market to continue selling to the downside that's what we are expecting the market is going to continue selling to the downside so this trade actually gave me over um two hundred dollars so like now let me show you if i bring my this thing here this is when i entered the trade i entered the trade around this point i entered the trade around this point because my target was let me draw what i put as my zone i wanted to see the market break below that zone and come back to retest so i saw the market it came back after breaking out of this place you see the massive cell um, candlesticks bearish candlestick and it, my, my market came back again and gave this confirmation so with this particular confirmation this candlestick i confirmed the market is going to sell down massively so i entered the trade immediately at this point i inside i entered the trade immediately at this point and you can see how many candlesticks from here from this point to where i took my profit i took profit at this point here we had this first low over 51 dollars in profit for one position i opened about four positions so it gave me about 51 dollars in position for a uh, dollar a profit for one position over 200 dollars in profit for the four positions so i still expect the market to continue selling so if you are just seeing this video i don't know when you are going to see it but if you find if you after seeing this video discover the market is still selling just wait for a pullback wait for a pullback as it pulls back to a, a strong zone and and gives a confirmation is going to change direction to continue selling then that's when you're going to enter the market to trade you know i expect a reaction as the market is going to get to um this particular zone here i expect a reaction around this zone so you can also wait if the market gets to this zone and gives you a confirmation it's going to sell continue selling then you enter else but i strongly believe the market will want to sell to the downside the market would want to sell down to this level here the market want to sell down to this level here guys so that is just it it's a very simple analysis once you're able to draw these trend lines and mark out your key levels in the market it makes this um, analysis job um job of analyzing the market very stress-free because it won't take you up to even five minutes you are done analyzing the market you can see how much i've made you know with this particular setup so guys it's very simple you know all right so there is a link in the description of this video if you want to enroll in my mentorship training one-on-one -on -one mentorship training there is a link in the description of this video you click on that link it is going to take you to my telegram channel when you get to the telegram channel i usually upload or post some high probability um setups just like this one i posted today you know so you can easily get ideas trading ideas from there and also um, help yourself with it you understand and so when you get to the channel you also find the direct link to contact me so you click on my link on that um, channel 
my direct link and contact me based on if you want me to coach you or to mentor you for um to help you grow in trading you know because this is what most people need it's not about watching the video if you know it's going to take you because normally if you want to learn by yourself it's very possible you can teach yourself how to trade but it's going to take you some time you know but if you get a mentor have somebody to respond to talk to you know to ask questions somebody to show you some little things that might take you very long time to discover it will help you grow um it might it to help you uh easily understand and um trade independently in a very short time as long as you are also serious and ready to practice what you are shown you know so guys um also i posted um how do we call it an audio file on the same telegram channel to inform you guys about a one week mentorship training one to two weeks mentorship training i would want to hold for those that have been requesting that i hold a one week training again mentorship training so i posted a a, a, a video, an audio file there in that telegram channel but i'm not sure if anybody people have been able to because i've seen some complaints they can't they can't open the file so maybe i will have to do uh, put it into text to write what i actually said there you know the training is going to begin on monday and I'm going to do a pre-recorded video specifically for that training, especially for those who are always busy and may not be able to attend the classes at the time we'll be having them. You understand? So the fee for the 22 weeks mentorship training is going to be just $20. And as you are coming, you, you want to join, try to fund your account also because um, before the end of trade training, you will recover your money. Because we will find high probability setups like this and you're going to trade and recover your money as soon as you can. You know, so there is a win-win situation. You come in to learn, get the knowledge and also recover your, pro your, your the, the fee you paid. So do not waste time. Just click in the link of that in the description on this video. Contact me as soon as you can. The payment information, the payment details, everything is there on the Telegram channel. Go in and take action now, guys. Stop wasting your time. Stop blowing your account. Join us. Meanwhile, please like this video, share this video, comment. Let me get your thoughts, guys. And subscribe to this channel. Some guys are just watching these videos and benefiting from it without subscribing. Help me to grow, guys. The more you help me to grow, the more I, I feel impressed and appreciated to do more, guys. All right. So, till my next video, guys. Peace out.